World today is filled with conflict and strife, from the Kashmir conflict to the war in Syria, from the ongoing war in Afghanistan to the protests in Hong Kong, it seems like we are living in an era of constant conflict. But what is the common thread that ties all these conflicts together? In this video, we will explore the commonalities between these four conflicts and understand the root causes that have led to these conflicts. Kashmir conflict Let's start with the Kashmir conflict. The Kashmir conflict is a long-standing territorial dispute between India and Pakistan over the region of Kashmir. The conflict began in 1947, when India and Pakistan gained independence from British colonial rule, and Kashmir was left in a state of limbo. Both India and Pakistan claimed the region as their own, and the dispute has led to several wars and decades of violence. At the heart of the conflict lies the issue of national identity and the desire for self-determination. Syria conflict Moving on to Syria, the conflict there began in 2011 as a popular uprising against the authoritarian regime of President Bashar al-Assad. The uprising was part of the wider Arab Spring movement that swept across the Middle East and North Africa. However, the Syrian conflict soon spiraled into a full-blown civil war as various factions vied for power and control. The conflict has been fueled by sectarian and ethnic divisions, as well as the influence of regional and international powers. The root causes of the Syrian conflict are complex, but at the core of it lies the struggle for political and economic power. Afghanistan conflict The conflict in Afghanistan is another long-standing conflict that has spanned decades. The conflict began in the late 1970s, when Soviet forces invaded Afghanistan, and it has continued ever since. The conflict has been marked by the involvement of various foreign powers, including the United States, and has been fueled by political, religious, and ethnic divisions. At the heart of the conflict lies the issue of national identity and the struggle for control over Afghanistan's vast natural resources. Hong Kong protests Finally, let's look at the protests in Hong Kong. The protests began in 2019 as a response to a proposed bill that would have allowed the extradition of Hong Kong residents to mainland China. The protests quickly grew into a wider pro-democracy movement, with protesters demanding greater autonomy and democracy for Hong Kong. The protests were marked by clashes with police and violent crackdowns by the Chinese government. At the heart of the protests lies the struggle for democratic rights and the desire for self-determination. Conclusion So what is the common thread that ties all these conflicts together? At their core, these conflicts are all driven by a desire for self-determination and the struggle for political and economic power. Whether it is the Kashmir conflict, the war in Syria, the conflict in Afghanistan, or the protests in Hong Kong, these conflicts are all rooted in the desire of people to control their own destinies and to shape their own futures. As we move forward, it is important to remember that conflict is a complex and multifaceted issue, and that the only way to resolve these conflicts is through dialogue, compromise, and a commitment to finding common ground. The role of the West in these conflicts is complex and varied. In some cases, such as the Kashmir conflict and the conflict in Afghanistan, the West has played a significant role in exacerbating the conflicts. In other cases, such as the protests in Hong Kong, the West has been more supportive of the protesters' goals and aspirations. In the case of the Kashmir conflict, the West has historically played a role in fueling tensions between India and Pakistan. During the Cold War, both India and Pakistan were seen as key allies in the fight against communism, and the West supported both countries in their territorial claims over Kashmir. The West has also been criticized for not doing enough to intervene in the conflict and help find a peaceful solution. Similarly, in the conflict in Afghanistan, the West has played a significant role. The United States and its allies invaded Afghanistan in 2001 in response to the 9-11 attacks, and the conflict has continued ever since. The West has been criticized for its role in exacerbating the conflict, particularly through its drone strikes and other military interventions. In the case of the Syrian conflict, the West has been more divided. While some Western countries have supported the opposition to the Assad regime, others have been more supportive of the government. The West has also been criticized for not doing enough to intervene in the conflict and help find a peaceful solution. In the case of the protests in Hong Kong, the West has been more supportive of the protesters' goals and aspirations. The United States and other Western countries have spoken out in support of the protesters and have criticized China for its crackdown on the protests. Overall, the role of the West in these conflicts is complex and multifaceted. While the West has played a role in exacerbating some of these conflicts, it has also been supportive of efforts to find peaceful solutions. Ultimately, the key to resolving these conflicts will be through dialogue, compromise, and a commitment to finding common ground among all parties involved, both within and outside of the West.